Welcome to the Chronicles of Pipe Smoking. This is a series of video lessons on how to get started into the art hobby of pipe smoking and how to continue the hobby once you have started. This is video lesson one introduction and tools of the trade and now we're going to show you the tools you're going to need to start this hobby up okay these are the essentials that you're going to need to start with first thing is the pipe this is a corn cob pipe brand new this is your pipe tool This is your lighter, Bic lighter, soft flame. These are pipe cleaners used to clean your pipe. These are bristle pipe cleaners used for a deeper cleaning. And the tobacco. And you will also need a mason jar of some sort for storage. Okay, we're going to talk in depth a little bit about what the items you had just saw. The first thing is the pipe. This is a corn cob pipe. The company who makes these is called Missouri Meerschaum. You can see it's brand new on the inside, never been smoked. This particular size is the Mizu. Um, you want to pick up something like this. You want to pick up a legend. Something 10 bucks and under. Now there's many different shapes and sizes. They have big ones, wide ones, fancier stems. Just stick with the basic. We're looking at 10 bucks right here. I think this pipe might be six. I can't recall. Anything under 10 bucks. Now you can get the straight, you can get a black stem, you can get a straight stem. This is a bent stem, a bent stem. Whatever you think you might like, choose that one. Next is the pipe tool. This is your pipe tool. This is known as a check tool. Okay, this is a three way. It has the, the ring and the psychic key ring, and you, just, you can just move them around. This, the main shaft, is your tamper. You will use this to tamp your ashes down. This here is the scoop. This is to scoop your ashes out when you're done smoking, part of the cleaning process. And this is a poker, an aerator. If your pipe becomes clogged, you can use this. I also use it to open tins of tobacco, so it's very handy. Very reasonable. You can get a three pack, you can get a single one, they're very cheap. Next, you're going to need a lighter. Okay, I recommend the Bic. Bics can be found anywhere, you might even have one already. Soft flame. That's what you want, a soft flame. No torch lighters. You can use a Zippo, but you have to buy the pipe Zippo. So you're still looking at 20, 30 bucks. I don't know what they run. This is two bucks by itself at any convenience store. And like I said, you might have it already. Next, you're going to need the the pipe cleaners this is a hunter pack of bj long and i recommend getting the hunter pack because you're going to go through one on every smoke they come in a ziploc bag you can keep them in there you can put them in a, in a little canister to get to these are it they're white and a lot of fuzzy stuff from the factory you just kind of you got to kind of take them off because that will get goopy up in your pipe 
before you start to use it. But you're going to need one for every bowl. So keep that in mind. That's why I recommend starting with the 100 pack. Two bucks, not much. Another set of pipe cleaners. These are the brush, the bristle. And you can see it has those little red scorchers in there, little pricklies. What that does, that helps take any goop that's been laying around in here, build up, and helps take that out. Um, they do have them in packs. They do have them in these. I, I think they're 50 in here or so, 50 or 60. Pick up one of these also. Last but not least, you're going to need your tobacco. Okay, I recommend getting a bulk item if you can. Now, I also recommend getting a tin. Now, whatever you decide to choose, we're going to stick with that tobacco. Okay, we're going to stick with that blend. I particularly recommend this. This is McBaron Mixture Scottish Blend. It's made by McBaron. It's made in Denmark. You can find it anywhere. I, it comes in these three ounce tins. It comes in a pound bag. It comes in bulk. And I recommend buying the bulk. I recommend buying two ounces. Two ounces of the bulk. This is what it's going to look like. Okay. It's a little bit. This is considered a ready rubbed. Don't worry about that right now. But this is already, this is ready to go as far as the, the cut. Now, this is not an aromatic. This has quite a few different types of tobacco in it. And the reason why I recommend it is it helps train you. It helps train you with your smoking. Because when you smoke, you have to go real slow. And if you go real fast with this blend, you're going to know it. It's going to, it's, it's, your mouth's going to feel it. It's something called tongue bite. So you will get that. Now there's many other tobaccos to try. I'm sure this is not your first video. I'm sure this is not your first information series. I'm sure you've read articles and maybe even forums. And everyone has all these different type of recommendations. And that's where you might be mind boggled. But what I do suggest, if you don't go with this product, whatever you decide to pick, we're gonna stick with it for a while, okay? That's why I don't recommend like um, the fancy cherries or the vanillas, because right out of the gate, you might not like it. And then just be, you might not like the flavor of it and it, it wouldn't be good to start smoking with that. So that's why I want to do something more neutral that has tobacco flavor and it has a nice subtle taste sweetness in the background. That way you can train yourself to taste that. Okay, this is a good training blend. That's why I, re I recommend it. Okay, where to find all this stuff at? If you have a local tobacconist in your, in your city, town, that you can get to, you can go in there, most likely. It's, you know, they have Cobbs, and they have McBaron blends. Um, they might even help you out. You say, I'm, look, I'm new, I'm looking at this. You know, um, it depends on who you talk to, most people in general want you to start with this because it's 10 bucks. You're not gonna ruin a briar pipe. Uh, and you're not gonna spend $50. Everything you see here is less than $50. So you can start 
out of the gate, very low, minimum investment to see if this is for you or not. Okay? So check your local tobacconist. Also, there's online. Smokingpipes.com, pipesandcigars.com, and there's others out there too. Tobaccopipes.com is another one. I, I, my go-to, if I had to pick one of them, was would be smokingpipes.com. That seems to have the more variety and more more stuff you can pick from. But like I said, stay ten bucks and um, keep it cheap. So that's it for this lesson. Um, you're welcome to move on to lesson two once you have purchased all of these items on your own. Make sure you have everything with you to start lesson two. And lesson two, we'll be learning how to implement and get the pipe going um, on the, the uh, items that you, you have just invested in to see if you actually like this hobby or not. All right. See you next time.